the semiconductor world has just been shaken to its core. NVIDIA and Intel, two of the biggest names in computing, have announced a partnership worth $5 billion. Their mission? To design a new type of chip for laptops and data centers, one that could fundamentally change how we think about performance, integration, and the future of personal computing. This isn't just another collaboration. This is a historic deal between two giants who, until now, have mostly been competitors. NVIDIA is the undisputed leader in graphics, powering everything from gaming PCs to AI supercomputers. Intel, despite its struggles in recent years, still dominates the global market for laptop processors. Together, they hold the keys to almost the entire PC hardware ecosystem. And now they're combining forces. To understand why this deal matters, let's first look at where the industry stands today. For decades, Intel was the king of chips. Its processors were the beating heart of nearly every PC and laptop. But the past decade hasn't been kind. Competitors like AMD have been gaining ground with Ryzen processors, Apple has disrupted the market with its M-series chips, and ARM-based designs are reshaping expectations for efficiency. Meanwhile, Intel's own market valuation has taken a huge hit. For the first time in 30 years, its worth has dropped below $100 billion. Compare that with NVIDIA, which has skyrocketed to a mind-blowing $3.32 trillion valuation. But here's the twist. Market value doesn't tell the whole story. Intel still holds an iron grip on 80% of the laptop processor market, meaning most laptops in the world still run on Intel chips. NVIDIA, on the other hand, dominates 94% of the discrete graphics market, controlling the GPUs that power gaming, AI research, and creative workflows. By working together, they're not just collaborating, they're creating a near-unbreakable alliance that could control the very core of next-generation laptops. So, what exactly are NVIDIA and Intel making? The companies have confirmed that they are co-developing a new class of chips, with multiple product generations already in development. These chips will target consumer laptops, the everyday devices we all use, gaming machines, notebooks designed for high-end graphics and immersive gameplay, creator laptops for video editing, 3D modeling, and professional content production, educational and enterprise markets, affordable yet powerful devices for schools and businesses, data centers where AI, cloud computing, and enterprise workloads will benefit from this hybrid design. The key technology at the center of this partnership is NVIDIA NVLink, a high-speed interconnect traditionally used in supercomputers to link multiple GPUs together. For the first time, NVLink will be used in consumer-grade laptops, allowing Intel CPUs and NVIDIA GPUs to talk to each other directly and at lightning speed. This isn't just about putting a CPU and a GPU on the same motherboard, it's about building a tightly integrated system where the two processors act almost like a single brain. Imagine laptops capable of running massive AI models locally, or gaming machines delivering desktop-class performance on the go. That's the vision. For years analysts have speculated that NVIDIA might one day enter the CPU market. After all, AMD has been thriving by selling both CPUs and GPUs together, while NVIDIA has stayed on the GPU side of the fence. There were rumors that NVIDIA might build its own CPUs, or even buy a company like RM to break into the processor game. This deal with Intel gives NVIDIA another path forward. By partnering with Intel, NVIDIA effectively gains entry into the CPU market without the risks of building a CPU business from scratch. It gives them instant access to Intel's ecosystem of laptop makers, enterprise clients, and global distribution networks. And let's not forget, NVIDIA has also invested directly in Intel as a shareholder, meaning it stands to profit not only from the success of these new chips, but also from any recovery in Intel's stock value. Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's charismatic CEO, has already said this partnership will deliver fantastic returns both in business and equity. If this all sounds familiar, it's because Intel has tried something like this before. Back in 2017, Intel partnered with AMD to create the Cabby Lake G chip. This unique processor combined an Intel CPU with an AMD Radeon GPU on the same package. On paper, it was a brilliant idea. In practice, it was a flop. The chip had strong performance but suffered from poor driver support and software optimization. Within a few years, it was discontinued and largely forgotten. So, why will this new NVIDIA partnership be different? The answer lies in NVIDIA's unmatched ecosystem. Unlike AMD, NVIDIA has built a software empire around its hardware. CUDA, TensorRT, RTX, and DLSS are all NVIDIA technologies that have become industry standards in AI, gaming, and creative applications. 
By combining Intel CPUs with NVIDIA's hardware and software stack, the companies have a much stronger foundation for success. This partnership doesn't just benefit Intel and NVIDIA, it also puts enormous pressure on their competitors. AMD has long marketed itself as the one-stop shop for both CPUs and GPUs. With Ryzen and Radeon under the same roof, AMD offered what Intel and NVIDIA couldn't, a fully integrated platform. Now with Intel and NVIDIA joining hands, AMD's advantage is in jeopardy. Then there's Qualcomm, which has been pushing ARM-based chips for Windows laptops. Qualcomm's strategy has focused on efficiency, connectivity, and long battery life, but its performance has never matched Intel or AMD. If Intel and NVIDIA deliver high-performance AI-ready laptops, Qualcomm could struggle to stay relevant in the premium market. Even Apple, with its M-series chips, will be watching closely. Apple has proven that tightly integrated CPU-GPU designs can dominate, but if Intel and NVIDIA pull this off, they could challenge Apple's lead in performance per watt. Industry analysts are already buzzing with speculation. Pat Moorhead, a respected tech analyst, has said that a tightly integrated Intel NVIDIA laptop platform could be a game-changer for AI, gaming, and professional workloads. He even hinted at the possibility of multi-GPU laptop configurations, something we haven't seen in years, jokingly asking, are we back? Others have raised questions about exactly how much NVIDIA GPU technology will be included in these new chips. Will they feature full-blown RTX-class GPUs, or will they be custom power-optimized designs? Which GPU architectures will Intel use, and how will pricing play out in a market where high-end GPUs already cost hundreds of dollars? Sources close to Intel have revealed that discussions with NVIDIA began more than a year ago, when Pat Gelsinger was still Intel's CEO. Development has been underway quietly ever since, and the companies are planning several generations of these joint chips. While the first products are still under wraps, the roadmap seems clear. These won't just be one-off experiments. Intel and Nvidia want to build a long-term platform together. And given the level of investment, $5 billion, it's safe to assume they're betting big on its success. Beyond the technology itself, this deal has major geopolitical implications. Governments around the world, especially the United States, have been pushing for stronger domestic chip production. Intel has already received billions in subsidies to build new fabs and strengthen America's semiconductor supply chain. By partnering with NVIDIA, Intel not only gets funding, but also adds a partner that's central to the global AI race. Together, they can argue that they're building the chips that will power the future of AI, cloud computing, and digital infrastructure. That makes this partnership not just a business move, but also a political one. At the end of the day, what does this mean for you and me, the everyday users? It means laptops could soon become far more powerful, efficient, and versatile. Imagine a thin and light notebook capable of running advanced AI models locally, without needing to connect to the cloud. Imagine creators editing 8K video, or rendering 3D worlds on the go, with no compromise in performance. Imagine gamers carrying a laptop that feels like a desktop rig in disguise. This isn't science fiction, it's the direction Intel and NVIDIA want to take. The NVIDIA-Intel partnership is a watershed moment for the tech industry. By pooling their strengths, Intel's dominance in CPUs and NVIDIA's dominance in GPUs, they are creating a new class of chips that could redefine what laptops and data centers are capable of. For competitors like AMD, Qualcomm, and even Apple, the road ahead just got more complicated. For consumers, the next wave of laptops may be the most exciting we've seen in decades. This isn't just a $5 billion partnership. It's a bet on the future of computing. And if Intel and Nvidia succeed, they may not just reshape the laptop market, they may reshape the entire semiconductor industry.